Setting risk tolerance and diversifying your portfolio are two of the most important stock risk management strategies. By following these tips, you can reduce your risk of significant losses and increase your chances of success in the stock market and you can navigate the stock market with confidence. Remember, it's not about avoiding risk altogether. It's about managing it intelligently. That's how you turn the uncertainty of the stock market into opportunities for growth. Hi everyone, and welcome to Learn to Profit. Today, we're talking about stock risk management strategies, with a focus on setting risk tolerance and diversifying your portfolio. Stock market investing can be a great way to build wealth over the long term, but it's important to remember that all investments carry risk. By understanding your own risk tolerance and diversifying your portfolio, you can reduce your risk of significant losses. Setting Risk Tolerance your risk tolerance is the amount of risk you are comfortable with when investing. It's important to set your risk tolerance before you start investing, and to revisit it regularly as your circumstances change. There are a few factors to consider when setting your risk tolerance, including Your age. Younger investors generally have a longer time horizon, so they can afford to take on more risk. Your investment goals. If you are saving for a specific goal, such as retirement, you may need to take on less risk to ensure that you reach your goal. Your financial situation. If you have significant debt or other financial obligations, you may need to take on less risk to avoid financial hardship. Once you have considered these factors, you can use a risk tolerance questionnaire to help you determine your risk tolerance. There are many different risk tolerance questionnaires available online and from financial advisors. Diversifying your portfolio. Diversification is one of the most important risk management strategies. By diversifying your portfolio, you are spreading your risk across different asset classes, industries, and geographic regions. This means that if one investment performs poorly, your other investments can help to offset the losses. There are many different ways to diversify your portfolio. Here are a few examples. Asset Class Diversification Invest in a variety of different asset classes, such as stocks, bonds, and real estate. Industry Diversification Invest in stocks from a variety of different industries. Geographic Diversification Invest in stocks from a variety of different geographic regions. You can also use mutual funds and ETFs to diversify your portfolio. Mutual funds and ETFs are baskets of securities that track a specific index or market sector. This makes them an easy way to gain exposure to a variety of different investments. Strategies for managing stock risk. Now. Let's delve into some effective strategies for managing stock risk. Asset Allocation This involves spreading your investments across different asset classes, such as stocks, bonds, and cash. We'll discuss the ideal asset allocation based on your risk tolerance and financial goals. Stop Loss Orders These are your safety nets in the stock market. Learn how to use them effectively to limit potential losses. Risk-Reward Ratio Discover the importance of assessing potential risks against potential rewards before making investment decisions. It's like weighing the pros and cons on a financial scale. Options and Hedging Advanced techniques like options and hedging can provide insurance for your portfolio. We'll simplify these concepts and explain how they work. Long-term investing. Sometimes, the best way to manage risk is to play the long game. We'll discuss the benefits of long-term investing and the power of compounding. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe to the Learn to Profit channel for more videos on stock market investing, personal finance, and other related topics. Thanks for watching.